Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks in the quilt called Let's Play Hopscotch. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. We're going to be using the two and a half inch strips today in a wonderful uh, selection of kids prints that have um, little puppies and kittens on them, kind of reminiscent of the 50s. And then we're pairing it up with a real light mint green background fabric. So two and a half inch strips, one background fabric, and we're ready to start sewing just about. We're going to be then beginning what we want to create are blocks that look like this basically a four patch with a rectangle to one side. So in order to do that, we're going to be putting together strips so that we can create strip sets and make our four patches very efficiently. Now when you're working with a different variety, the different varieties of two and a half inch pre-cut strips, you will want to double check to make sure where on that strip is the actual two and a half inch. Sometimes it's the outside of the pinked edge, sometimes it's the valley of the pinked edge, sometimes they're cut straight and it's just the outside edge. So, and this one, it's the inside um, of the deep valley of the pinking. So we've put our strips together and created a quarter inch seam to one side here. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna press our seams to one side. And in this case, I'm gonna just use my fingernail really quick to open it up. You wanna always make sure that you press or take this time to open the seam all the way up and don't leave a valley in between and then make sure you've pressed it. I've got two here already ready to go that have been nicely pressed. And in order to cut those units, I'm gonna offset my piece by about a quarter inch so that my seams then aren't stacked right on top of each other. It's a little easier place for my ruler to rest when I'm cutting. So then bring my ruler in and you just need to cut two and a half inch um, units off of your strip set. So we're gonna overcut that first one. Since I've moved my pieces around, I can't guarantee that I have a um, nice clean edge there. So I'm gonna cut down through both layers. And you could create a lot of your strip sets. Just go according to the pattern on how many strip sets to actually make and then how many units you need to cut. So you could cut multiple layers and a lot of these units really quickly. So then proceed down the, to get their two and a half inch units. Once you have those all cut, then it's to arrange those to make your four patch. And I'm gonna look, does my seam allowances are going in opposite directions here, so I would join these in this way so that I would have opposing seams so I get a nice flat um, lock and get a nice join in the center there. And then I would seam a quarter inch here have one of those already prepared. So if this were flat, you can also see then when I open it up, I can open those seams, they're just popping it and the couple little stitches will come undone and I've got a nice flat center. I don't have a big lump where my seam allowances come together at. And then all I need to do is add the rectangle along the one side of the block and you'll follow your instructions for the number of these units that you need to create. Now, it's simply an arrangement type thing now to create your quilt top. You'll notice in the diagrams there are some offset pieces, rectangles like this, and then block in this type arrangement. And I've got blocks the same color here. You may want to switch out if you don't like two blocks together like this. It's always kind of a fun thing to, to put everything together and see if I need to twist and turn to make the design work. And then just proceed in that same manner, alternating the bar on the side, the large spacer in between. You're gonna be creating long rows and as your row ends, some of the rows have a spacer at the bottom. The next row, will start without a block at the top. That's how you get the shift so that their rows then do a stair step down through the quilt diagonally. You finish with a mint green border and a blue binding and you've created your own version of this little great quilt. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please visit our website. Let's play hopscotch, have fun.